Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. Welcome to the course Data Engineering Essentials Hands-On using SQL, Python and Spark. The course says it's hands-on, which means you need to have lab. Either you can sign up for our lab or you can leverage the lab uh, which is built by you. We have provided the instructions as part of section 2, 3 and 4. Either you have to follow 2 and 4 to set up the lab on AWS Cloud9 or you have to follow uh, section 3 and 4 to set up the lab on GCP. Once you go through the material, you will understand. That being said, once you set up the lab, you need to uh, practice. Uh, and one of the way to practice is using the notebooks that are used to demonstrate. You should be able to set up these notebooks uh, with a few clicks of buttons, and you should be able to practice interactively. You can watch the content on Udemy, and you should be able to practice using the notebooks that are provided to you by uh, copying them into your lab. Uh, some of you might be uh, subscribed to our lab or you might have uh, got coupons uh, uh, as our customers. In that case, you can skip uh, section 2 and 4 or section 3 and 4 and you can directly jump onto the content starting from section 5 and you can practice uh, uh, using the material. This material can be uploaded to our labs also. That being said, without uh, delaying further, let me demonstrate you how we, we can actually upload this content so that we can practice uh, effectively. You can see that the step one is to set up the lab or get our lab access, which is nothing but IT university labs. Once you are uh, done with it, then you can you have to go to step two, where you have to download the zip file. Where is the zip file? It is part of the resources. You can expand this and you should be able to click on this. It will take care of downloading the zip file for you. Typically, it will be downloaded to downloads folder you should be able to expand this and you can actually click on this to go to that folder uh, it opened in another window let me copy here you can see my zip is downloaded and also it is uncompressed now to upload into the lab you have to compress it how to compress it you just have to right click on it and you just have to say compress uh, the folder and it will take care of creating a zip file for us once the zip file is created now the step three is you have to upload to your lab or IT Vasti lab. If you are already an IT Vasti lab subscriber, you can actually log into IT Vasti labs and you can upload. I will demonstrate at a later point in time. If you set up your own labs, you have to follow these instructions. The lab might be either on uh, GCP or uh, uh, AWS Cloud9. It doesn't matter where it is. The underlying server is nothing but Ubuntu based server. You should be able to upload this zip file into your lab and you can take it further. So in this case, you can click on this to upload and then you have to go to the downloads folder and then you have to click on the zip file and then you have to click on choose for upload. Now the zip file will be uploaded into this lab. Uh, we need to wait until the upload is completely done. You can see the progress here. It is still saying uploading. Once it is uploaded, we should be able to uncompress it here and we should be able to see all the content in interactive fashion. Let's wait until the upload is completely done. Then I will actually demonstrate how you can uh, use this material as part of your labs. Now the upload is complete. You can see here there is a zip file. Uh, one of the way to uncompress it is by clicking on the terminal. Once you launch the terminal, you can run ls-ltr. Depending upon uh, the underlying platform, you might see different uh, uh, things here. This is uh, on AWS Cloud9. That's why we are seeing this. If you are using GCP, you might see your username rather than Ubuntu, and you might not see this folder. Don't worry too much about these uh, minute or minor differences. Now we can use command called as unzip, and then we can actually unzip this zip file. You can see that it is being unzipped, and then we can say ls-ltr. You can remove this uh, underscore underscore mac osx. Okay, now you can go to this uh, data engineering essentials folder. You can see the material here. Uh, yeah, typically, you will start with the database essentials and you go further. You can easily relate the topics uh, that are there as part of the sections with this. If you go through the uh, uh, sections here, you see there are multiple sections uh, which starts with the database essentials. All the material re related to all these uh, uh, sections which start with uh, database essentials will be under uh, the database essentials folder in the JupyterLab environment. Y you can double click on this and then you can see the content. Same is the case with Python. You have so many topics related to uh, programming essentials using Python. You can see here. 
all the material or most of the material is available under this folder uh, in the lab this is your lab you have you should have uploaded the content into your lab and if you go back to the data engineering essentials and if you click on programming essentials using python you can actually see all the topics that are covered as part of the course you can easily relate and you should be able to uh, go to the appropriate folder and you can start practicing now you can actually get into any notebook that is relevant uh, which you are going through at that time and you should be able to practice in interactive fashion this is how you should be able to uh, upload the resources into the lab which is set up by you now i will also demonstrate about labs.itversity.com so that the customers who are from itversity la uh, labs can actually follow this video and upload the content most of the customers are uh, uh, considerable number of customers our it was the loyal customers they sign up through our platform and we tend to give free coupons for them to come on to the udemy and uh, these instructions are for those if you are a udemy loyal customer and if you don't want to go through the uh, details related to it was the labs you can uh, stop here and you can proceed to the next topic that being said uh, for those who are it was the customers you can actually go to your account by saying labs.itversity.com you have to log in once you log in you will see the gateway node here you can click on this it will take a moment and it will launch this now you can click on this to upload in this case i am trying to upload the zip file it will take a bit of time to upload once it is uploaded we should be able to unzip using the terminal and then we can take it further let's wait it is uploaded then we will see how to unzip as well now it is uploaded we can say ls hyphen ltr here you can see there is a zip file we can say unzip data engineering essentials dot zip now it is being unzipped we can remove this uh, underscore underscore mac os x then we should be able to double click on this to actually see the content let's go to the programming essentials and then worry of collections and uh, uh, and then worry of collections list and tuple let's uh, access one of the notebook and you should be able to run these notebooks to actually see uh, the output this is how you should be able to learn in interactive fashion i have to rerun this because uh, uh, earlier it uh, did not run the first cell that's why the second cell have failed now you can see that the second cell is also ran the third cell also ran so and so forth this is how you should be able to interactively practice using either the self support labs or the it versity labs if you are a it versity lab customer that being said if you need any support in this process feel free to reach out to us we will take care of your support so that you have smoother learning experience